So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and get you a big pack. One of the biggest packs you got. This is the biggest pack that we have. Normally, a lot of people use vegetable stock, but y'all know we the rebels. I never have everything that we need on hand. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to make it work. We're going to go ahead and make our turkey with some beef broth. It's not going to hurt it. And if it does, comment down below and tell us why. Now, it's not a lot left in here. And who knows? We may be making our own little creation over here. Now, we're going to turn this pot on high so it can go ahead and start coming to a boil. Now, the most important ingredient, though, for your brine is your kosher salt. Now, this salt right here is what's going to give your turkey that flavor that it needs to put that mm in it. It's not just going to be just the basic turkey. So, definitely do not use regular table salt. Now, to balance the salt out, we're going to use some brown sugar. Y'all know we love our brown sugar. It's just something about that brown sugar it just brings that mm, that caramelization and comfort to the dishes every time i buy regular white sugar i always buy a pack of brown sugar too now we're gonna add a half a cup of that brown sugar and make sure you do this over the pot don't be making a mess with the sugar all over the place there we go all right, so the next best thing we're going to add is some black peppercorns. It's going to give it that nice burst of pepper flavor. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a half a cup of these peppercorns. These little things come in handy. And it's going to give that turkey that nice nutty spicy flavor to that turkey. Oh, yeah. We got a whole container of these bay leaves. This is a great way to go ahead and use these up. So let's see. That's going to take about a handful, maybe like five, six, seven leaves. Let's go ahead and throw those in there as well. We're going to go ahead and give it a stir. And this pot is still not ready yet, but look at that color. Don't it look good already? And you would never know. It's beef stock. Now, y'all know what they say. The saying, happy wife, happy life. But we're going to go ahead and apply that to the husband today. Because th this is one of his favorite things. is some oranges. And if he would have known that these was in the refrigerator, y'all would not be seeing these right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and just save him a couple. He can't say I wasn't being nice today. I was. So, just go ahead and drop these in there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give them these. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to go ahead and taste this for the flavoring, you can definitely do that before you add your turkey to this. It's almost at its boiling stage. So if you want to add something else to it, you can. And I think what I am going to do, y'all know I love my poultry seasoning. Okay. And that's it. Leave them oranges alone. See what I'm talking about, y'all? Just the kids coming out here messing with the turkey. Look, this Emmy right here. Tell everybody what you just said about the turkey. That turkey looks sad. I told y'all, they don't mess with the turkey around here. But we're going to go ahead and make them a believer today. I just tasted the brine. And I'm going to add another half a cup of brown sugar. And if it does taste a little salty, then you will want it. Just go ahead and add a little bit more sugar to balance it out. Look, I had to put that top on that pot. It was just taking too long to boil without the top on it. I don't know what I was thinking about. But this is what you want to see right here with your brine. Once it comes up to a boil, you can go ahead and cut your pot off. Now, we got to go ahead and let this simmer down. I know. We done waited for it to get boiled up. And now we got to let it simmer down before we can put the turkey in there. But it was more so to get that flavor out them oranges and get the flavor from the peppercorns so that's why we brought it up to a boil and this is what we're going to go ahead and brine this turkey in you want something nice and deep that the turkey can just sit in and be immersed in all that liquid that's why y'all we don't just do cooking around here we be actually doing projects and work that's why we said roll with us because 
Y'all never know what we're going to pop up with next. <laughs> so, once this go ahead and cool down, we're going to go ahead and transfer everything in here. Make sure you get all of that flavor out of there. Now the most important thing is once you drop your turkey in there, we're gonna put it breast side down. Y'all see the breast? Okay. And make sure it's nice and submerged. That's exactly why I wanted to use this big bucket. So it's enough liquid to cover the top of it. Now I filled this bucket up with a lot of ice because clearly we can't fit this in our refrigerator. And you wanna make sure it stay nice and cold because we're gonna have to leave it out for about 10, 12 hours until it's time to go ahead and cook it. And you don't want it to just be sitting there warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. I did have some for you, but I don't have any more. So we're just gonna go ahead and use some handy dandy good old plastic wrap. I'm really wrapping the package. Got to make sure it's nice and sealed up tight. There we go. So there go our turkey. Nice and wrapped up tight like a baby that's about to go to sleep. So that's a wrap, literally, for night one. We're going to go ahead and just let this turkey sit by the corner, by the window. And then tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and take it out the brine and go ahead and put it in the oven and we're going to show you how to get it nice and juicy and tender so we'll see y'all back for the next video see you later